Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with another episode of BrickLover18 Asks You. Gluing your LEGO sets and mocks protects them from breaking, but it stops you from ever using those parts again. Leg glue allows you to glue and unglue your LEGO sets so you can keep them safe, but use the parts again in the future. Visit the link in the description to learn more and check out Leg Glue in all its glory in my Leg Glue video. Subscribe to BrickLover18 for more daily LEGO videos. So in last week's episode, I asked you what your thoughts were on the new Disney Lego minifigures. So the picture just came out like the day I made the Brick Lover 18 asks you. So I thought it would be a perfect topic and it was very fresh. And I think a lot of people really enjoyed that. Marla said, I don't like them very much. Aaron Seed said, all of them are on my list. I love these. Anime Sparkle, I think these look amazing. They're the best figures I see, but the Lego alien looks like a rehash. I agree. Michael Lee, I think they all look awesome. Jonathan Risen, I'm really excited for the Disney figs and I'm sad about no Pluto. I plan on getting many pizza aliens and maybe a few Mickey Mouses. Destination Bricks, I'm excited for all these because I've never seen any of these heads. Doctor Who Ate My Bacon said, I love them but they should have replaced the alien with Leo besides the fact that I love the characters, they are great. I agree with the Leo thing, I'm really disappointed that they added another like Buzz Lightyear and another alien because they're already in Lego sets but Lilo and Stitch are not, I mean at least we get Stitch. The Brick Artist, I like the new series although they should have kept with 16. If they take out Buzz Lightyear and Alien plus the weird pink cat and the girl in blue drag and replace it with Mike and Sully from Monsters Inc. It would be perfect. Brothers from another brick, I really like the Disney series with the exception of Bud Lightyear and Captain Hook. Lego should have stuck with the original Buzz Lightyear and I don't like Captain Hook because he's just so creepy looking. Bricks for me, I would love to get the Disney minifigures because number one, they're Disney minifigures and number two, I see a lot of great pieces from molded heads to cool torsos and even some new hair and hats. I cannot wait to get them all. Brendan Wong, I think the majority of these figures are are amazing. These are the figures from different shows and will appeal to a lot of customers. Increasing the count may engage others to collect more as well. My favorite is Mickey Mouse as he is a very iconic figure and I'm dying to obtain it. Brickmaster Studios, the Disney figures are awesome. The Lego Crafter, I don't know at all, lol. Jurassic Brick Productions, I don't really have a use for any of them but I might get Stitch because I love Stitch. I agreed. Frost Soul, I think these figures look pretty cool. I don't know if I'll buy them though, unless they are my favorite Disney characters in it. Jawa Bricks, I love the Disney minifigures. My dream back when I was younger, when I watched Disney animations, was for there to be Lego Disney minifigures, and I'm definitely getting every single one of them. General Hugh, I think the accuracy on these figures are fantastic. Every little detail is perfect, like having Syndrome's mouth being higher up than normal to convey a big chin, or Ursula having a chest piece to give her big, built shape in the movie. Brickfan19, I don't like them because they have molded heads and I hate molded heads. I tend to agree, like especially with the Simpsons minifigures, but for some reason I guess I just like these. Tom says I'm pretty happy about the hook and cat, but I doubt I'd buy a whole box at this time. Master Lego Tech, I think they look great since they represent the characters very well. The Mighty LC prefers Power Miner, Space Police, or other things like that, but not the Disney minifigures. Bricks are the best. The minifigures look amazing, but last time I tried to get a full set, I just wasted my money. John really likes the look of the new minifigures. That is something he's looking forward to get. I think LEGO will make a lot of profits from these. LEGO and Pokemon guys? Well, I like them, but not as much as classic series minifigures like Series 15 and Series 14. Disney Freak 309 is buying everyone. I have been waiting for this since 2010 for this to happen, and I am a Disney freak and fanatic, so I'm buying all 18 and even more. I love all, except I wish they did a Woody minifigure with a head like Buzz, and you can just read the rest of his comment here. He wrote a lot. Kitty Girl, I have to say those minifigures are amazing. They look so old school and I love stuff like that. Simon1117, they look okay. It's not that bad looking and the detail looks good. The Skating Spider, I hope they make Lego Universe minifigures. Epic Blue Gamer loves them. Because today we just got a very exciting picture about the Series 16 Lego minifigures, I'm going to do the exact same question as last week. What are your opinions based on the minifigures that you can see on the package so far of the Series 16 LEGO minifigures? When I saw these, when I was scrolling through my Instagram feed, I was so surprised. I'm like, whoa, I love these. The Banana 2 guy just looks epic, and I'm really excited for Series 16 minifigures to come out now. I mean, the Disney minifigures will be out first, which is really cool, but Series 16 definitely looks like something to be super excited about. Definitely with the fact that we get a banana suit guy as well as a penguin suit person and then like who cares about the rest of the figures Those two figures are so far the best figures. I think that we're gonna see in this series. They just look so epic 
let me know down below what you think of the Series 16 minifigures. I am super duper excited to get them. And just from the picture, they look really, really awesome. Thanks everybody for watching this episode. I really hope you enjoyed. And don't worry, the new non-minifigure questions will start up again next week.